did you uh, drop out of college? I fucking college sucks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that college specific. Well, also I went to college to follow my girlfriend at the time, which was okay. a bad idea. Um, I went to Northern Arizona University, which is a fuck that college. Why? Um, well, it's it's definitely one of those. I think all colleges are pretty money sink, but that one's a real money sink. It's like the reason I got in was because they have a ninety three percent acceptance rate. They just want your money. They don't give a like. They don't care about anything else. Um, the computer science program was okay if you could get higher up in it, but they wouldn't even let me like um, test out of the intro class. And I didn't mean to be like an asshole. Like you should let me skip a class i was like can you let me take the finals and all the tests uh because i was already working as a programmer yeah. so i was like why am i working as a programmer to pay to go to school to learn how to work as a programmer that's stupid that doesn't make any sense yeah do they not check that like you went through like a program or anything or is it just like oh, i learned on youtube like and... if you're doing an engineering job yeah um well like they they do care a lot less now because they l know that you can just learn it from a computer mm. i mean it's like Computer stuff, I mean, it kind of makes sense. You can learn it on a computer. Like you wouldn't want your doctor to be a YouTube taught doctor, but <laughs> right? You want them to go to yeah. medical school, but yeah. like there's Unless a they've lot seen of- your surgery robot video. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a lot of yeah. people at like SpaceX and Tesla, especially like those are some of the n like more progressive companies. Like yeah. the fan companies don't give a shit if you've been to college for programming. Yeah. They just want to know what you can do and like see your portfolio. That's part of why they have like such rigorous um, interview processes mm -hmm. like you have to know how to do a bunch of bullshit on a whiteboard and that's annoying Match but like found. it doesn't matter how you know how to do it you just know how to do it that's interesting so yeah. did you actually end up getting a job in in that after high school yeah yeah I worked for the the government of Hawaii for a bit little bits at the college um, on my island got it yeah I know when you're working for the government, I would imagine there's got to be some like mischievous <laughs> stuff you were doing on the side, or were you just like, dude, it going was... in? Like, were you not changing to sit <laughs> on the back end? And, like, not a lot. I didn't have a lot of access. Pranks or no? we, had, we had our own server. Okay. So it, we didn't have access to any other place, um, unfortunately. I feel like you would send out like mass emails or just like, you know, <laughs> just memes or like something. Some memes. You yeah. would do something in there. Okay. But you kept it. Pretty, pretty, you know. I kept it pretty professional. Okay, yeah. you did. Pretty, kept it good, yeah. Okay. And like, I was, I was such a, like a serious nerd in that job too. I was like trying to do it really well. Okay. Um, yeah, I remember like getting mad at the other people there who were like, uh, who were going to college for it, mm. but working on the project as well. So it was, yeah, that was an interesting time. But you, why did you quit your job? I know you hated it, but wasn't it like good money? I didn't making? quit it for a while. Yeah. Um. I still do random stuff. I try to do random stuff on the side. Um, it wasn't that good of money because it's like the government of Hawaii yeah. and Maui, especially, is like does not invest in their IT infrastructure a lot. So, yeah, they were asking a lot, and also they scammed the shit out of me. My boss definitely like underpaid me because I didn't have the degree, but I was doing more than the people who did have the degree. That's crazy. Yeah. How did you find out like, about that? Um, go, go. Someone told me. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that's not right. Also, at some point I worked like, that was my first hundred hour work week was on that project. And she, and they did not pay like, they couldn't pay over a certain amount of overtime. So it would just bleed into the next month or next week hmm. and not count as overtime. It's like, can you say how much you were making at that job? I actually don't remember. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah. It was $15 an hour. $12 an hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and with, with time and a half for overtime, which was good out of high school because I, I didn't have any scholarships. Mm -hmm. So I worked, I, I had to work like, I had to max out overtime to pay for college that summer and going into college Spike too because I didn't have scholarships because my grades were bad. Take yeah. This. Yeah. So, yeah. And then you went to college and then you dropped out of college. Yeah. Yeah. And when you dropped out, were you continuing to do this work remotely? Yeah, I was still doing remote and after then doing YouTube. Out. And then all of this, you know, after some yeah. time, YouTube income started taking over that job. Oh, Jeez, no, we could just ask you. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just curious because I think I know that. I think I know that. You know the, the pipeline. Story. Yeah, you know it, Jack. You know the high school the YouTube pipeline. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. Found the spy. 
Even with all of the guides we've created over the years, building a computer can still be pretty challenging if you've never done it before. Wrong CPU socket, using case, and what do I do with all of these RAM slots? Our goal with this build then was to create a gaming PC that is not only Enough darn cameras. near Their impossible to screw up, but that you can build yourself in less time than it would take to go, drive go, go. to the store and buy a console. Micro Center stepped up and sponsored us then to give you the foolproof PC. So grab a screwdriver, preferably one from lttstore.com, and follow along. Watch and learn. After slipping an ESD bracelet over my ankle, we will start, as always, with the motherboard, an ASUS ROG Strix B660i. And I can already hear you saying, Linus, small form factor is hard and ah, ah, ah. you gotta trust me, okay? An ITX motherboard might not have as much room for expansion, but it also has almost no room to screw up. Which memory slots do I use? Do I, One enemy the only remaining. ones. Where Spike do I get down, it? B. Micro Center, obviously. Flawless. See? Easy. The box will serve as a handy build surface. Just unlatch the retention arm and pull it open, then orient your unboxed here. LGA 1700 CPU using the golden triangle on the CPU and on the socket cover, or by lining up the notches on the top and bottom. We went with Intel's Core i5-12600K because it offers great gaming performance and we like the value that those efficiency cores bring to the table for multi-threaded workloads. Once it's in, give it a little wiggle to make sure it's seated Steady. correctly. Then push the lid down until the top latch grabs hold of the lid, push the retention arm down, and you gotta really give her here, and tuck it under its holder. The socket cover should pop off on its own. Set that aside in case you ever want to RMA or sell your motherboard. The next step is to install our SSD, the Samsung 9 Pro. It is pricey, Spike but down Samsung a. regularly performs very well in previous reliability reports, and it's a really fast drive that can truly take advantage of PCIe Gen 4. Capacity, as always, is a personal choice, but since we only have two M.2 slots, planted. we decided on a two terabyte model, One so enemy we won't remaining. need to upgrade right away. Unless, of course, you're a data hoarder, in which case, make sure to get subscribed so you don't miss our upcoming video about who's the biggest data hoarder at LMG and what solutions everybody uses. Both slots on this board are Gen 4, so there's no wrong answer. But both have slightly different installation methods. The rear slot goes in like this and needs this screw from the motherboard box to secure it. I prefer to use this one for now, since this slot is going to be harder to access when it's time to upgrade. When that time comes, the front slot is under the motherboard armor. Take out these three screws, a number one Phillips will do the trick, then lift it off and set it aside. Peel off the film covering the thermal pad and slide in the SSD until it clicks into place. Push it down and check this out. ASUS calls this M.2 Q latch and it makes SSD installation as simple as rotating this little plastic doodad. Love it. At this stage, you can just not bother putting the armor back on if you want to save some time. It's really unlikely to affect performance, but if you like the look, peel the film off the underside, place it over the drive, and screw it back down into place. Now for the CPU heatsink. The LGA1700 socket is still pretty new, so any cooler that's been sitting on the shelf for a year might not include the right hardware. But if you reach out to Noctua with proof of purchase, they will send you a free mounting kit. This is a potential extra step in our foolproof PC, but thankfully, Spike this down, kit B. makes it impossible One to screw up your mount. We Spike went with B. the NHU 12S for its excellent performance, compatibility, and ease of use. Also, it's available at Micro Center. But another solid option the community seems to really like is the Cyber 5 Rev B. Pick up your motherboard with one hand by the IO shield and push the backplate into place through these holes. Remember it's symmetrical, Grimstone. so the only thing if that really matters is that the you, holes correspond I'll to where the lead. screws are sticking through the socket. So easy, right? Place the board back down on top of the box, slide the plastic spacers over the bolts like so, then install the two mounting bars over top of the spacers with the bars curving outward. Finally, we'll use the thumb nuts to screw down our four corners to keep everything in place. When it comes to thermal compound, don't stress. Noctua includes a non-conductive, non-capacitive paste with all of their coolers, so it won't hurt anything to put on some extra. 
For these longer LGA 1700 CPUs, we're gonna go with the thin line down the middle technique, and it can be about the width of an uncooked grain of rice. Then remove the fan from the heatsink by pulling out these two wires and place the heatsink over the two mounting points and tighten it down until the screws bottom out. Honestly, that was the hardest part. But if you still think that all of this is too difficult, Micro Center has technicians who can put everything together for you for a $150 build fee. They'll even do hardline water cooler for an upcharge. Let's move on to RAM. DDR5 installs exactly the same as DDR4, and we only have two DIMM slots, so you can't put them in the wrong one. We've also chosen lower spec DDR5 to ensure that we don't run into any instability or compatibility issues when enabling XMP. We also considered the size of our modules. You might choose to mostly follow our parts list, but maybe you change your cooler, for example. These Corsair Vengeance 5200 megatransfer per second CL38 modules will fit in just about anything. Push down the tabs on the top end of the DIMM slots, then align the notch of your no memory module with the notch on the slot. Slide the first module into the rails, then guide it to the bottom, and press firmly with two thumbs until you hear a click on each side. Do it again for the second module, and then you are all set. Now that our memory is installed, we can attach our fan to our heatsink with the side clips like so, then plug the cable into the gray fan header at the top. This is your CPU fan header, and the one directly next to it is the AIO pump header. We'll get to our case selection in a second, but for now, since we know that it comes with two case fans, we're gonna use a handy Y splitter and plug it into the chassis fan header up here near the CPU power connector. If you don't wanna pay the extra few dollars, that's okay. You can use the pump header for your second chassis fan. It just might require a little bit of extra configuration to get it to properly ramp up and down. According to the Remember when I asked you to trust me? Small form factor is hard, but we're not building small form factor. Our biggest trick today is the Jake Tidy special, Remove. putting an ITX board in an ATX case, specifically the H510 Flow from NZXT. Ah, so much room for activities. Guys. Okay, for we're gonna do this in sort of a weird order, but you'll thank me later. Starting with go, go, go. our power supply. Yes, I know. Fully modular power supplies are a super cool upgrade for experienced builders. But while it's hard to put cables in the wrong way, it's not impossible and it does add extra steps. So we went with an EVGA 700 GD. It's rated for 80 plus gold efficiency and outputs a bit more juice than we need today with some to spare for the reportedly power hungry upcoming RTX 4000 series. Let's grab the only three cables we actually need for our build. ATX 4 pin, CPU 8 pin, and PCIe 8 pin. We'll take the others that we don't need, like these SATA and Molex cables, as well as these extra PCIe cables, bundle them together, and forget about them for now. Put your power supply close to your case like this, then take the 8-pin CPU cable and feed it through the cutout at the top. Give yourself as much slack as possible for now, we're gonna clean that up later. While you're up here, feed the rear exhaust fan cable out through that same cutout. This next step can be done with your case standing, which will make the CPU power cable easier to manage, but if you're more comfortable resting your motherboard on the standoffs and then screwing it in with two hands rather than one, that's perfectly okay. Either way, we're gonna take our CPU cable in one hand and the motherboard in the other and bring it close enough that you can plug in the CPU connector by pushing this cable in with the clip pointed out. If you're not using the Y splitter for fans, plug in your chassis fans now as well. Then, as you place the motherboard on these four standoffs, align the I.O., no shield installation for us, our board comes with one pre-installed, and gently push it into place. Our ITX board fits perfectly on the pre-installed standoffs, and I promise you that using these screws to secure the three corners here, here, and here, and then resting the last one on the pre-installed center post will be fine. But if you're truly worried, feel free to swap out that post with any of the other standoffs using their handy standoff tool. Now remember that Y splitter we plugged in earlier? Tuck the ends of that cable out through the same cutout as your CPU power connector, and then plug in the front and rear case fans. We can now wire up our case IO since we're in here, and this is why we chose NZXT. Power switch, reset switch, and power LED are all properly grouped together for us so we can plug them all in at once. I mean, I get it, universal One compatibility with the broken out Last ones, that's pretty cool, but most modern boards are the same, and man, is this ever a time saver. USB-C okay. goes here, USB-A goes here. Both of them are keyed, so they only go in one way. 
Then we're gonna take our HD audio and stretch it across our board so it can rest snugly between our GPU and our CPU cooler. Now it's time to push your power supply into the basement through the side, get your ATX24 pin and PCIe 8 pin out of the way, then you can tuck all those extra cables out of sight. So roomy! Run the ATX24 pin up the side, then out through any of the nearby cutouts and plug it in. It's keyed to only go in one seconds way. Left. Then the PCIe cable comes up through the basement and we can leave it hanging there for now. Next, grab the four screws included with your power supply and secure it here, 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 and here. At this point, if we were using integrated graphics, we'd be ready to rock, but the GPU shortage is finally settling down. Micro Center has lots of stock, mostly in their stores to help produce left. online scalping. So we chose an EVGA RTX 3060 XC. It's a great match for our 12600K, and being a two-fan card in a case this size, it is a breeze to install. Remove the two top slot covers from the case, then put them with your case hardware and keep those two screws. Grab your GPU, remove the PCIe protector, as well as whichever display out covers you'll need. And if you're a novice, I would suggest laying your case down for an easier time here. Line up the slot with the connector. You might have to wiggle this around a bit to get it just right and push Connect it down it, until please, it's please. seated. You can check if you're done by trying to spot the Caution case holes here. through the rear bracket Caution like here. this, or by checking the PCIe lock to make sure that it's engaged. And we are in business. Now we just need to screw it back down and plug in our last power connector a little like what? so. Pissed. And that's it. Following this guide, you could conceivably complete this PC in 10 to 15 I minutes. Know exactly and I'm so confident that it's gonna are. work. I'm gonna put the panels on before I power it up. You can check out all the products that we used, by the way, in the links down below while we get Windows installed and get some games. This is standing. a fantastic gaming experience. Doom Eternal is not the most difficult game to run, but anything that can do Doom Eternal 1440p, 130 to 150 FPS, is gonna be having a pretty darn good time in just about any AAA game that has at least some reasonable level of optimization. And the craziest part of all of this is GPUs are constantly coming down to prices that you could conceivably actually build this thing. I love it, right? Uh, we've struggled so much to make we videos for the last two years. This is great. So whether you want to build it yourself or just pick out something you know has good parts rather than rolling the dice on a pre-built, you can find everything you're looking for at Micro Center. They've got a great selection of products, knowledgeable associates to help you when you're shopping, and plenty of products available in store. Not feeling social? <laughs> you can place your order online and get your products Let's fast go. with their 18-minute in-store pickup We're options. Loving. They've got fantastic prices, 25 US locations with their own service and repair department so you can avoid shipping RMA products overseas. And if you're a new customer, well, Micro Center wants to offer you a free 128 gig USB flash drive and a 128 gig micro SD card. Check out the link in the video description. New customers only, no purchase necessary, limited time off, valid and store only limit one coupon per customer. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the build stream that we did recently for a solid budget build. That was also sponsored by Micro Center, right? Yeah, it was. I'm really curious about this, because if it allows me to meditate without breathing, that'll be cool. Wouldn't that just be death? <laughs> I mean, with that rhythmic breathing. <laughs> that is adhesive. so scary. <laughs> is that Addy's <laughs> face? Yeah. It's a beautiful looking toothbrush. This ah. this thing right here. Tanner, what the heck, dude? That was no So let me see you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, Welcome to this episode. I don't know why I put the D in front of the end sound there. That's not how it works. Today, we have an interesting and a cool one in store for you. We found products that kind of give the vibe that Apple made them, but Apple didn't make them. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Products you could see Apple possibly making is another way to look at it. Too. But they didn't make it. I would say the aesthetics and the quality is the most important part. Clean tech, some of its interesting design. Clean, uh, simplistic clean user interface and user experience is streamlined. We have some picked out. I imagine what is gonna look for like a smart hammer, which isn't a bad idea. Why would you need a smart hammer? I'd like to like, like, like to bleed. Say goodbye. Goodbye to ugly brick shaped soaps. I hate how ugly my uh, soap is. <laughs> Apple has that vibe of making everything aesthetic. This is the soap. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's a revolution. Listen to this music. Spike down, hey. <laughs>
Why gray though? The, of the worst of all the colors. No, it's, gray can be quite aesthetic. It actually kind of hit. For soap, it's like, it's so extra. Here's one I wanted to get. This is if Apple made self -care. No. So it's a little AirPod Pro XL. Last layer standing. <laughs> what do they call it AirPod? Now? I see why you put it in this. You have one application? No, that's Fire one apple. Devil. Two apple. <laughs> one application? Vacation indefinitely? I mean, that's not how that works. <laughs> no amount of tan makes it feel remaining. like you're not working. When you use Spike it, do you have page. to contort your body in weird ways? Yeah, you gotta get the back. It's difficult to... They did such a serious video and they're calling it goof proof. <laughs> goof proof. So I'm gonna add it to cart. There's one clip where she was just doing it right in her eyes. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> her eyes are just spray paint. This one's gonna be super dank. This one was mine. It's a self tanner. Aren't you already a self tanner? Uh, Haley actually has been tanning people lately, and she tanned me once. And Last I was, round in the hat. Why do you want to be tanned? So people love me. She needed to try her tanning solution. And you're like, I'll be the guinea pig. You love being the guinea pig, though. Dude, being the Guinea pig is dope. You have way more pets. What? Can someone get I'm talking about something else. I don't even think you're talking about anything. <laughs> Does this not look like a Tesla car key, but like a mouse version? <laughs> Dinner today. <laughs> what are you been saying? Does this look like a Tesla car key? Sure. Okay. <laughs> when you're a guinea pig, don't you get more pets? <laughs> what does that even mean? Guinea pigs get 100% more pets than I do. Oh. Oh, what did you think I was saying? The guinea pig had pets. No one understood you. I fully understood me. <laughs> I fully understood me. And that's all that counts. It's a year of fall, all right, big guy. Uh, I'm gonna take this home and have Haley use it on me. Here's the thing about this, all right? Here's what it looks exactly. like. I thought it was like a full body tanning machine. No, it's for your face. It's like a makeup thing. Bad. I'm still gonna use it naturally. It's a little janky. It's a little crusty. But I'm gonna let Haley spray my face with it. This can only go positive ways. I'm committing to the bit as per usual. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Last player standing. Oh, turn it off. <laughs> oh god! I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Wait, it just starts spray. Oh, it's already empty. What? It was so anticlimactic. Look, it's empty. It has this like little plastic piece up top that's like Element. not, doesn't have anything that seals it. The other models I keep seeing I online could. have like a little black tube that kind of feeds into it that you can seal. I don't know what the heck one we got. We got it on Amazon. It's made by the brand. How do I look? I feel like looks a little darker. Dark, tall, and handsome is what Haley calls me usually, right? Yep, that's right. The Switching dumbest thing I've ever used in my life. Had high potential. I thought this was gonna be like a full body tanner, like, you know, you're yeah, trying to go to the beach, but you don't wanna look like, you know, Elmer's glue. Uh, Haley, any words? Bruce says it's a nope. <laughs> All right, well, that's a nope. Next product. Like, think of like Apple Hammer, you know? Like, do, do Woods things. I'm gonna try it. Apple Hammer. Maybe not Apple Hammer. <laughs> he searched Apple Hammer. Look that old man. It's like being irresponsible. Be <laughs> irresponsible. Eye ring laser tape has the word eye ring, which kind of puts it in the Apple contender. Still using a tape to measure? Why not try something new? <laughs> Meet Hoto Smart Laser Measure. All right, this is kind of sick, actually. I'm not going to lie. There's nothing a simple click can't do. This is dope. And it's called the eye ring, dude. It has an app for it. This kind of just bang, bro. Send it, dude. You're going to be taking this and just measuring things. Distances. Yeah, you're going to be over here just like Reloading. pointing it up. What, what was that? No, it's like, how far is this from my <laughs> pants? My pants. That's maybe like four inches. There. Yeah. What's the Caution thing? here. Nothing. It's like four inches. Add a card. <sighs> Bless. <laughs> this is a lighter, perhaps. Enemy spotted. <laughs> oh, it's a laser. La <laughs> laser. It's a laser, guys. <laughs> it's a laser. Amazing laser. Ah, one inch. Uh, <laughs> no! This one's not I that good. The idea here is you click it, and now it's measuring, and whatever you pointed at, then you uh, click it again, and it tells you how far away it is. So if I click that, that's gonna tell me 12 feet away. But they have ones that just do it in real time. It looks nice, but apples would be nicer. What are you trying to measure, weirdo? What is that measuring in? It's in one point. That's one inch, bro. Right till the end. No matter what. One inch. <laughs> It's just torn up, dude. Starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> he genuinely looks embarrassed, too. That's what's so funny. <laughs> Man! What luck! <laughs> what luck? 34 feet. Oh, it was in feet! <laughs> the whole time! 22 You feet. little liar! One dash or two dash? One. He had one dash. That's yeah. <laughs> He's back! <laughs> <laughs> Roar! 
<laughs> 36 feet. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, it actually works kind of well. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna do a test. What is with the like? Who is this guy? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I would love to shoot a bit where Woods for like let's say 10 minutes. He's just like sitting here by himself, just doing his thing, just making random comments, and then we'll just green screen him in. And I genuinely wonder if anyone would wonder. Yeah, I think we could do it. Yeah, I just scoot enough yeah. over, and I'm just like, and I don't touch him for an episode. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, would you be down? <laughs> yes. You would just make random comments like, I don't know, maybe it works. Okay, let's do it. Like that. Like that. <laughs> that was perfect, dude. You guys will have to uh, guess the episode that I'm dubbed in. <laughs> That's <laughs> so funny, dude. <laughs> oh, this is kind of dope. I actually want this. Blouse robe. Dude, it's a work robe. Apple, you're working nonstop. They're all about productivity. How about a robe that looks like a t-shirt? <laughs> I want this, so if you don't want to get it, I get it, but I want it. That's down. so funny, though. It's something that rubs me the wrong way about this. You never even wear a button-up shirt. I do all the time. You're gonna see me in a lot more Mid. Zoom call meetings with them now. Every Zoom meeting now, I'm gonna be wearing a button-up shirt. You're like, wow, Tanner. Tanner's wearing the same button-up shirt every, every meeting. meeting. Look at the two wine bottles down there. No wonder she's not getting up in time. Wait, why what is she the wearing the <laughs> She's just get up and put your clothes on. Just wear a shirt. <laughs> you know? It's just so strange to me. Add a cart. Just mark it as a gag. I don't even think it's a gag gift. I think it's a gag gift. A gag gift. What'd you say like that? A gag gift. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is for all of our meetings we have coming up. Oh, this is the blouse. No, it's not. It's a oh, uh, I mean the it's yeah a suit. The men's shirt. Wait, didn't we get this for Sam? Safety yes, job. we got it for Sam. Why did you guys get me? A no, robe? it's not a robe. It's they like to dress you up, Sam. <laughs> Disguised as a work shirt, so you can wear it during meetings. <laughs> like the yeah. meeting you pulled me out of to do this bit. Yeah. Oh, you were in a meeting. <laughs> but Sam is not afraid of just wearing sweats to a meeting, though. Well, yeah. That's what she's doing right now. Those are jeans, bro. Oh, Those are jeans, bro. <laughs> You're an idiot. I get so confused so between tiny. them. What is wrong with that? It looks like a kimono. It doesn't look like a dress shirt at all. It doesn't. What's interesting is this just feels like a cardigan. <laughs> but from the waist, I think it's from like the like the Zoom call. Oh. You're supposed to look businessy from here up. Spike mm. down A. I remember it having a collar, and I don't see it. I got you can rate it, and then. Do what you will with I it. Mean, Wear it in your meeting upstairs and let us know how it goes. If it's comfy and relaxing, but also businessy, I think she says it's a dope. So the fact that I feel like I'm that layer standing probably says something about is. you. Uh, this is a nope. Anyways, well, have fun in your meeting, Sam. Thanks. Uh, burn uh, it on the way out. Okay. Yeah. Burn it? Torch it. But it's app burn enabled. You need to relax. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, burning my calories. I think this is I why think. I stay skinny. Because my body is always cracking out, dude. It's like. <laughs> Shades 30 seconds gone left. to dusk versatility. Why would you ever wear sunglasses? So you could look like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> so I found this. This is the most Apple Match flosser out. Yes. You can't to the spike sites. So what I decided instead is this, which some people may have used, I get a but drop? I haven't seen Those are terrible. Spike I have here. one. Oh, I have that exact one. Here. Wouldn't it be spike interesting? I, I'd like to see Woods use this, though. That's what I'm saying. I have one kind of like, does it vibrate? Oh, oh yeah. Gun but it here. also has an app. Would you want metal, which is Apple, or would you like plastic? Metal. Someone get this. Yeah. No kidding. That was, that was a fake question. Not getting plastic. Uh, this is an Apple product. Does it product. play music? Yeah! Are getting all worked yeah. up in the morning? No, no, I'm talking about the ones that we're Why do you like... keep doing the hand? Thing? How do you brush your teeth, my friend? <laughs> I don't need to show it to talk like about it. Like this. I'm I keep doing, I would do like, like don't do that. <laughs> you were so insecure. Someone clip this guy and then put <laughs> random things in his hand. Do it. I'm I don't helping. care. I also love how you're Wait, dressed please. like Steve Jobs today. Yeah, that's that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, Add the car. I haven't brushed my teeth for a couple days. Just for this product. Oh yeah, no, you for the bros. Lauren has this product. Lauren, go ahead and lean into the camera. My fiance has this product. Your fiance has this product and. and he Does somebody you know about the channel? Yeah, I'm sure. He didn't say like. He gave it a thumbs up. You mean dope? Did he say? No, he just said he likes Ah. Oh, he says they're I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I mean. I bought two of these a year ago. I bought one for Luna and one for me. It stopped working under a week. How does it stop working? It stopped working under a week. Both of them. That's not going to be good on the internet. I don't need to show it to talk about it. 
both of them. So the fact that your boyfriend has a one that's working, I wish mine worked. It's a beautiful looking toothbrush. This this thing right here. Tanner, what the heck, dude? That was literally my toothbrush, bro. <laughs> was it really? Yes. Bro, first off, it's silicone. You can just clean it. <laughs> Keep the toothbrush. I don't want it. <laughs> Clean it. Use it though. If you're gonna take it, you better use it. <laughs> with a dry mouth and everything. <laughs> I just hear <laughs> with a dry like, mouth. Just... So let me see you use it. <laughs> Tanner sneaks in and uses my deodorant. Man, I got some issues. <laughs> this this dope note about the sun is. Uh, mm. <laughs> the way you phrased it too it sounded so discombobulated. Man, I got some issues. <laughs> Would it be weird if I did it a couple more just to give a good feel? He's already done it. I gotta give it a review. I'll Unless see. you want to take it home and use it and then film it. Yeah, I'm I'll cool. Do that. Okay. I'll do that tonight. He forgets to wash it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? I've got this sleek uh, Beats by Dre looking toothbrush that vibrates, but it's sleek. So I gotta load it up. I'm not really sure what's like special about it, besides that Tanner's put it in his mouth already. Apparently, it's like a silicone bristles. wet it a little bit. If you put toothpaste in your mouth, dry, on a dry brush, you're a psychopath. All right, you are off the bat. Very small brushes, <laughs> small bristles. It is small in my mouth, and I like, and I like that. I really would read the directions. I think maybe it might be Bluetooth. If it is Bluetooth and it connects and like tracks your brushing, I'd probably get rid of it. As just a vibrating brush, not bad. Pretty dope. Is this Shady Universal smartphone shade? Absolutely. A smartphone shade? Oh my gosh, this is the dumbest so thing. Shady attachments. <laughs> this could be a cool new type of fidget toy for your phone, I could see, maybe. You could also use it to fan. Look, they have it next to other Apple products. All right, I think we get it. Look at Chad looking at his thing. We're gonna get black. We're gonna get one. We're gonna add it to cart. This is one I'm pumped about, Chad. Okay, you're gonna break it before we open it. It's impossible to break. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's the pitch. <laughs> It's a shady attachment. Oh, this is so you can look at your phone in daylight. So let me just go ahead and stick these on. <laughs> you hear how much sound that made? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to lick it. This guy's got excess saliva. And you kind of like. Oh! <laughs> Why didn't it work? You are a mess, bro. Man, I got some issues. How much sleep did you get last night? 12. <laughs> I forgot I have this colored phone. <laughs> <laughs> Release the lever. Oh, there's a lever. Oh, I found it. Okay. Yeah. Way better. Way better. Pop this open. <laughs> is that a fan or is it just a sunshade? Oh, it's a sunshade, but it's you can. A sunshade. It's a sunshade. <laughs> it's a sunshade. This is so ignorant to use. Like, you have to be ignorant to use it. Yeah. You have to be dumb, not know a lot of things. What would you have to not know to use that? Um, how to be a human being. I think the hard part here is I have like six suns, so I can't really block them all. See what I'm saying? I need more. Is Haley now? Uh, <laughs> we haven't talked about it. And here's the thing, what if the sun's really close? I see. <laughs> what if the sun's like only half a parsec away? <laughs> is that a Star Wars unit of measurement? Uh, just is that a real science. thing? It's a real one. Google. <laughs> <laughs> you could like take it to a party and like grab a hors d'oeuvres. Oh yeah. Like... You could put like a whole entire sushi roll on there yeah, if you yeah, laid yeah. it out right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 